I'm Rock and Roll, and this is my, God, it sounds stupid to say it's my first YouTube channel because it's not, but I guess it is. It's not my first YouTube video because I've been Rock and Roll, a real life superhero, for almost eight years now, and I know what you're thinking, real life superhero, what the hell, does she have laser eyes? See right here is where I edit the lasers coming out of my eyes, that would be great but that's not how it works. Real life superheroes, if you look us up, are just a bunch of good Samaritans who go out there and most of the time we wear costumes to draw attention to what we're doing, which is giving out food to the homeless, food and clothing, um, teaching. In our case, my group is called The Initiative and um, we have been teaching free self-defense class to at-risk groups and anyone who really needs a self-defense class. I mean, you can call us up and we'll come down to your business, your home, and do a two-hour seminar with you for free. And there are 13 branches right now of The Initiative across the U.S. Um, and in Australia and in the U.K and we're growing. We also pick up used needles off the streets of San Francisco and we picked up 11,000 11, to date. Well, what do we do? There's so much that we do. We teach free self-defense class, we do homeless outreach, pick up used needles, oh, and we patrol. That's how this all got started. Uh, when I say patrol, we do not think we're cops. At least the best real life superheroes out there do not believe that they are the cops. We work with our local law enforcement. We're, in our group, we are Citizen Police Academy graduates. What we do is we provide, it's simple, another set of eyes and ears for the police. So do we take on drug dealers, are we vigilantes? The answer is no, no. Especially if you're a new real life superhero, no. We don't do that. You can try to do that, go ahead. But once you get shot, you're gonna make it hard for the rest of we, you know, hardworking real life superheroes. So uh, if you wanna do that stuff, call yourself something else. Don't call yourself a real life superhero. Call yourself vigilante, Joe, stabby guy, or something like that. Because the rest of us are trying to do everything in accordance to the local ordinances and and with law enforcement and that's how we want to keep it we want to keep everything above board and um, legal sometimes we wear masks as rock and roll i've had this is actually part of my motorcycle gear but sometimes we wear capes i can find this sometimes we do we wear capes because they're fun yes i know edna mode said no capes but this one is simple this is for the superheroes initiative just kidding, we don't, we don't do that. That's, maybe sometimes when we're cosplaying, but mostly I cosplay Star Wars because I'm a nerd. I'm gonna talk about, really briefly, um, some of my favorite superheroes in the world, Filipinos. I know, I know, Filipinos. I'm part Filipino, I'm part of a lot of things, but uh, I was born in Manila, actually. I was just watching Parts Unknown, with Anthony Bourdain, who I love him, Mish Matthew. Um, he started season seven, the first episode was in the Philippines, and Anthony said, for reasons I haven't quite figured out yet, uh, and I'm paraphrasing, Filipinos are the most giving people on the planet. And he said, think I'm talking shit? Keep watching. And he went on to say that they give their time, they give their love, they give their money. Um, whatever they can, and they give it freely, and oftentimes they give it to strangers. This is the absolute truth. Growing up in a part Filipino household, it was always that we had someone sleeping on a couch who was down and out, or that we were putting together food baskets for families we knew that weren't, um, that needed food. I think that was my introduction into what being a real life superhero was like. If the world were like that, think of what, you know what kind of world we'd be living in right now if, if everybody had that mentality. For my introduction video, I just want to give you um, a message based on all that. That is, I think, lesson 101 of real life superheroing. Do what you can for others whenever the opportunity arises. Um, and that makes the world a better place. 
Our motto in the initiative is we are saving the world one good deed at a time. If you're interested in joining a group, yes, I have to put this out there because of course it's gotta be a recruitment video too. If you're interested in joining a group that has been at this since officially 2009, we've been in People Magazine, they did a mini doc on us. We've been in Vanity Fair Italia, and you can check us out at initiativecollective.com or you can check us out on Facebook. If you put in Initiative Collective, it'll take you right to our page. My Facebook page where you can find these videos, Save Yourself. So check out Save Yourself. And my Facebook name is Roxanne Kai, C-A-I. Um, Cause it wouldn't let me put rock and roll up. Friend me, tell me you watched my video. And you know, you always see people begging you to subscribe, but really we make these videos in the hopes that we will get enough subscribers to be able to make a little bit of money off of this. And since we take our money and funnel it into straight into the hands of people on the street and give them food, clothing, and socks, and the socks, because we can really use them. That's what we give out on the street. Um, but back to the subscribe, that's what we need subscriptions for. If you want to do something good for the world that keeps on doing good, like Ripples, um, subscribe. There you go. So, or join us. We're always recruiting. So we have a minimum of three hours of volunteer service per month. Three hours, that's it. You'd be surprised, one outreach event will cover that pretty much. So uh, contact us and uh, let us know what you think. Thanks for watching and have a heroic, wonderful day. Peace out.